everybody in here, just sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee, just like usual. Just let the chickens out, and it was real cold last night. I think it got down to maybe 41, 42 maybe, but they're all doing great. I did a head count, especially the little, the little black chickens, uh, just to make sure they made it through the night. Okay, and they did, so whew, that's a relief. But I wanted to share something with you. Cody and Hannah stopped by yesterday, and Hannah was walking up my drive with her hands behind her back. And she says, Miss Anne, I want you to sit down. So I sat down, and she says, close your eyes. So I closed my eyes, and then she put this in my hands. See this? It's a pretty little gift bag. And she said, and it was so, it was so sweet, because they were, well, uh, because you got me something at the store, you know, whatever. I just like a loaf of bread and some Pop-Tarts and stuff like that because I wanted to go to the store and get some snacks. So I wanted to see if they wanted snacks too. So in return, they've given me this. I'm going to show you. They came over one day and it was hot outside and we were working on that chicken yard and I um, wanted to give them something to drink, but I've only got like one or two glasses, you know, and um, I've got those four little ones that were sent to me, the little plastic ones, and but those aren't very big, so I wanted to give them a nice something, and so I got a, I mean, I got a, like a Gatorade, old Gatorade bottle, washed it out, and made them something to drink, so they knew that I needed more glasses, and this is what they got me. This one right here, it's very sturdy, it says cherish on it, and it's insulated, so they got me one of those. And they also got me, woo, another one of these. This is, uh, it's got a little straw in it and everything, a reusable straw, and it says blessed on it. And it is going to go great with the color scheme I've got going on in here. And they sent me a, they got me a coffee cup. It says, life is better with a furry companion. So I've got another coffee cup. I love it. And they didn't send me just one, but two Pop-Tarts of the kinds that I really like. And I've already broken into this one. Yep, I've got, yeah, this is half gone. So they got me Pop-Tarts, which was so sweet. And Cody had been telling me about this stuff called Crestamint, mint oil. And it smells very minty, but you use it. It's a cleaner, deodorizer, degreaser. Um, and... It, it, you just use it to, to clean things with it. You can use it as a dog bath, one quarter cup to each gallon of water to remove odors. In the kitchen, family wash for a cleaner, brighter, brighter family wash, add one half cup Crestomint mint oil to wash along with the regular, um, you know, detergent. And you can use it in the bathroom, floors, walls, woodwork, and it smells absolutely it smells wonderful. So I'm definitely going to use that. I just, I can't believe how sweet they were. And they put it in this pretty bag too. So Cody and Hannah, thank you so much. You two are just really amazing young people and I love you to death. Okay, now for the stuff that I ordered for myself. And this is after having a discussion with several people about making your own chicken feed. Now, I'm not going to rely on this 100%. I'm still going to feed them regular chicken feed, but this this is going to be for some special treats, and this is going to be a lot of special treats. So let me see if I can lift these up and show you what I got. Um, this first one is going to be oh, difficult. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know if you can see this, but it is... Well, it's corn. It's whole corn. It's got the hull. It's got everything in it that's good for chickens. It's not the crack corn. It's the whole corn. Um, but I am a little concerned that it might be a little bit big. Well, I know it's going to be a little bit big for the baby chickens, but maybe even the leghorn. So I do crack it up a little bit. Um, I use, well, uh, you know, I was trying to figure out how to do it. I've got the mortar and pestle, mortar and pestle, and I can do it with the mortar and pestle. Um, but Cody suggested just getting a, some plastic baggies and beating it with a hammer. And you know what? That works great. But I don't know if you can see this, gosh, without tipping it. But it's really nice corn. And I've already fed it some of it uh, to the chickens, and they love it. All right, next thing, rolled oats. 
whole bunch of organic rolled oats and whole grain. They're they're thicker than the regular kinds you get. They are um, they're not they're they're it's the whole grain. It's, it's everything good from oatmeal is in that. Uh, and next, and the thing is, is all of this stuff I can use for myself as well. Sunflower seeds. I love these. They are roasted, unsalted sunflower seeds. And I've got, I've already cracked into these and I've eaten a little bit myself. Um, I don't know. I think there's about 12 in there that I've got. So a whole bunch of sunflower seeds. I also got sesame seeds and they love these too. They really just love these sesame seeds. And uh, these are all organic, you know, whole grain, blah, blah, blah. Also, chia seeds. I wonder if I can grow some, like the little chia pet with this. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. But the little girls in particular love, love these. They will eat all these first before they'll eat anything else. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Oh, oh. whole flax seed. This is also very good for humans. I've got a ton of it. And they really love, love these too. They love it all. So what I'll do is I will just get, I don't know, maybe about three or four handfuls of the corn. Uh, crack it up. I will get, oh, one of these has a scoop in it. It's a little scoop that's about this big around. Um, I will put like a couple scoops of chia seeds in, a um, couple of each of the sesame seed and um, the chia seeds and the flax seed, and then a couple handfuls of the sesame seed, mix it all up and put it in a bowl for them, and they just absolutely love it. Or sometimes I just scatter it out on the ground. They love going and hunting and pecking for it. So uh, that's going to keep them fed for a while, plus I've got more chicken feed and whatnot. So I don't know, it's kind of fun. Oh, I also keep my crushed eggshells in here, so every once in a while I'll give them some crushed eggshells too. These are going to be the best fed chickens in the world. <laughs> Other than that, not too much else going on today. Um, I may work on that chicken run a little bit. I may even try and get some of this insulation up, maybe just even one thing at a time. Um, I do know I got to go to Tractor Supply because I get to get more propane. <laughs> My propane is almost out. Um, I've got some cleaning and organizing to do inside this tiny house. Um, if I'm going to put the the rest of the insulation up. I'm going to have to start pulling things away from the wall, and so that's just going to be a huge job. So, but, um, you know, it's get, been getting down into the low 40s overnight, and to me, that's great sleeping weather. I think once it starts getting down, like, below 36, that's when it's I'm going to start having to have heat. So I've got a few more weeks left. Um, before it's going to get down that cold and I'll have to have some kind of heat in here. So hopefully I'm going to get that wood burning stove installed and I can start using it. Um, I've got some supplies that I can use right now to help facilitate, you know, like a heat shield in the back. I've got concrete slabs for the front. I've got to move this rug out of the way. So I'm going to have to start focusing on all of that. Uh, my back is better, but I tell you what, I think I'm just getting old, you know? I'm getting old and my arthritis is not getting any better. And I also need to remember to get some naproxen at the store today too because I'm completely out. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to get done today. Oh, great. <laughs> Looks like Judy tore up one of my little pots. Look at that. Goodness gracious. What am I going to do with this dog? I just love the way it looks out here. It is so pretty back in there right now. I might go look for some oyster mushrooms a little bit later on. I don't know if there's going to be any. I checked a couple days ago and there was none. I still got my pretty flowers though. Look how gorgeous. These are a little bit different than the other ones. Um, these have these kind of leaves on them so there's something different. But I think I may cut a few of those. And put them in a bouquet today. Oh my goodness, buffalo mushrooms. Yup, that's going in dinner tonight. Well, I think the last project I'm going to do today is completely spread out these, these little garden beds. Uh, I'm just going to take the peppers off of that plant. There's like three or four of them on there. 
and let them ripen inside and just dismantle this completely, flatten it out. There's still an ant hill over here, oh my gosh. And see that right down there? You know what those are? Those are wild, I don't know, maybe like garlic chives or something. I just took a bite of it and it tastes very garlicky and very chivey. So I'm gonna come back. I had already harvested from this bunch when Mr. Lucas was standing here and he just cracked up that I'm eating these things. But I'm gonna come back later tonight, chop some up and put them in my dinner. Who knows what that's gonna be. Well folks, I think that's all for today's video. I'll just get these little things done here and there, make some dinner tonight, and well, see you tomorrow. I'd wave at you, but I got my flowers in my hands. So take it easy everybody, that's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next video. I think that's lovely. I'm getting pretty good at this whole flower arranging thing, don't you think? It's gorgeous. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.